Welcome to Mamanu TV. News update. 24 August 2024. For immediate release. Statement by Murtala Yakubu Ajaka, SDP candidate in the 2023 Kogi governorship election, on the Supreme Court judgment of August 23, 2024. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I stand before you today to address the recent judgment by the Supreme Court of Nigeria on August 23, 2024, regarding the 2023 Kogi governorship election. While we respect the decision of the Apex Court and its role in upholding the rule of law, we categorically reject the outcome of this judgment. The world has witnessed the miscarriage of justice in our nation's judiciary system, and we cannot help but feel a deep sense of disappointment and disillusionment. The judgment has left many questions unanswered and has further eroded the trust of the Nigerian people in the judiciary. We reject the outcome even though we have no other options available. We will abide by the decision of the Apex Court. To my dedicated legal and media teams, I extend my sincerest appreciation for your tireless efforts, expertise, and commitment to our cause. Your hard work has not gone unnoticed, and I am grateful for your dedication. To my supporters, I feel your pain and disappointment. We did our best, leaving no stone unturned, but the system failed us. We fought a good fight, but the outcome is not a reflection of our efforts. However, we take solace in the fact that 2027 is around the corner, and we will know what to do. We will regroup, reassess, and come back stronger. Regarding the vicious attack on me, my supporters and the media, by Bashiru Gegu and his thugs, we condemn it in the strongest terms. This was not only an attack on my person, but also an assault on democracy itself. I urge the inspector, general of police and relevant security agencies to investigate this matter thoroughly, ensuring that culprits are brought to justice and serve as a deterrent to others. In a democratic society, attacks on a governorship candidate because he explored a legal means to reclaim. His stolen mandate are inexcusable and will not be tolerated. We consider this chapter closed. But our focus now shifts to supporting the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, in bringing Yahya Bello to book. We will provide all necessary support to ensure accountability. I thank you all for your unwavering support and commitment to our cause. Once again, together we will continue to fight for a better Nigeria, where justice reigns supreme and the will of the people is respected. Thank you. Al-Murtala Yakubu Ajaka.